as a fat person, this is something that I never see enough of. Fat people with nails. You never see chubby hands with nails. Always slim, slender fingers. And we need more chubby hand representation. They're so cute. But thin fingers, not the fat sausage fingers. Wait, she wants a chubby in her hand? <laughs> I don't know what chubby hand representation is. I don't know what she's talking about and who knows what they're going to come up with next. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me as we continue our journey into the collapse of society. And what I'm hoping is way in the future, historians are going to be able to look at these videos and watch them from beginning to end to see the progression of exactly how and why society did collapse and stop it from happening to future generations. So... Hopefully these videos will come in handy at some point down the road. Uh, for example, if you would place your attention on the screen, this is a real bulletin board in a real school teaching real students. However, there are words on this bulletin board that aren't real. It says hashtag share your pronouns. And there, there are words on this that, that, like I said, aren't real. Imagine being a parent walking into this classroom and seeing this. Unlike you blue-haired liberals, I don't have pronouns. <laughs> I'll still say about that is those are perfect advertisements to homeschool children. And if enough parents pull their kids out of schools, the public school system has no choice but to collapse. Anyway, this next clip is sure to get your blood boiling if you are a hard-working, tax-paying citizen. Roll the film. Man, get everything, man. Buy the entire fridge, yo. Yeah, everything, yo. We got food stamps. What did you just say? Yeah, everything, yo. We got food stamps. Lost souls. Let's mm -hmm. get lost tails. Yes, sir. Lost tails. Crabs. Get the crabs. You want snow crabs? Yeah, I get snow crabs. Man. I don't want crabs tonight, yo. Keep in heavy motion. Fill it up. Fill it up, man. Fill that thing up, yo. Go get some shrimp. <laughs> yeah, it's hey. What they did, man? Let's put it in the box. Let's put it in the bag. Yeah. Heavy motion, man. Now listen, I don't know the circumstances of these people. You heard the guy, they said, yeah, load it up, we got food stamps. I don't know why they got food stamps, I don't know what the circumstances are. However, I'm fairly certain they're both able-bodied and could work if needed. Um, and the money on those food stamps, the hundreds if not thousands of dollars they're buying in groceries there, snow crab legs, shrimp, lobster tails, that's not just imaginary money. That money comes from somewhere, our taxes. Um, the problem I got is why film this and put it out on the TikToks for everybody to see? To antagonize people. That's it. To antagonize and make people angry. And you know what? It worked. Let's keep it moving. And I came across this next tweet that has a TikTok compilation in it. And it is um, disturbing, to put it mildly. Now, for our blind subscribers and people sitting way, way, way in the back, the tweet is captioned, American women are voted the most beautiful by CNN. Then in the tweet, there's a TikTok compilation that I will leave on mute because there's a copyrighted song playing in the background. Now, as I said, what you are about to see is disturbing, so you have been warned. If you have light stomach, queasy, get queasy easily, uh, prone to nightmares, maybe skip this part. Roll the film, please.
going on? <laughs> I don't know. Now, a couple things here. I threw this last picture in that compilation. It wasn't originally in there. This, I'm 99% sure, is out of every one of those pictures, is the only real woman in those. Now, this a fairly certain is a woman who is obviously a bodybuilder who has taken so much of the, the juice and uh, testosterone and everything else that it basically makes her look just like a man, except she's got the, the fake chesticles going there. But I was going to play this whole TikTok clip because it's funny. She starts dancing around, but the, the bikini's very small and um, the YouTube's overlords have been gunning for us. He monetized the last video, suspended us for a week a little while ago. So I didn't want to take my chances. The rest of those pictures, and they demonetized the last video because they said I made hateful or disparaging remarks to a protected group. Listen, I'm not being hateful or disparaging to the all those pictures that we just saw of those people in the specific community. However, I will say I would not want any one of those people using the woman's restroom is that is that hateful or disparaging to say because i guarantee at least one of all those pictures the person isn't on the up and up you could probably find them on a list or something i don't know i, I don't it's it's so crazy that you can, that you can't say certain things that are completely obvious anymore it's we're living in some sad times let's keep it moving yeah sad times indeed this is what a lot of people would call stunning and brave. Roll it. My name is Dro, and today I'm wearing a dress to work for the first time ever. So the plan was to um, only lay out one outfit and then, can you see my shoes? And then wait as long as possible so that I had to go to school in my dress because that's all that I had. I'm wearing this dress, I'm extremely anxious. I'm also about to be late to go teach. I'm on campus, I'm sitting in my car. Oh, I did, I forgot to shave. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna wait a few more minutes, go to class, and teach. Yay for me, I did. What the f is this? I, that guy was sitting in his car by himself with his mask on. However, if you don't agree that that is stunning and brave, they will come for you, try to silence you, cancel you, deplatform, demonetize you. That, that's the world we're living in. Um, anyway, we're going to be wrapping it up in just a few minutes, guys. So if you made it this far, give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I can't do this alone. So thank you so much for trudging ahead with me. I know sometimes it ain't easy, but thank you guys so much. Now, it says on the screen here, it's crazy. Miss France beauty pageant sued for... Selecting contestants based on their appearance. Beauty pageant in France. Miss France beauty pageant. Sue so for selecting contestants. It's a three women have joined forces with the feminist with a feminist group to file a legal complaint over discrimination and breach of labor laws. A beauty pageant sued for selecting contestants on appearance. <laughs> That is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus. Christ. This next one, this next one's kind of sad, and I'm not I'm trying to make fun of this lady or anything. It's just where well, we live in a society where they have this fat acceptance movement and healthy at any size movement. And we all know that's just not true. Um, so you have people like this making these TikToks, and I don't even understand the point of it. She's singing like a, uh, she sings a couple lines out of Britney Spears or some song. I don't know what the song is. And puts it on the TikToks and people are cheering in the comments and oh healthy and brave, stunning and brave. I mean, excuse me. This I don't know. This just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not gonna play the music. I don't wanna obviously get a copyright strike. We it's ridiculous, but unfortunately it's the way it is. But I don't I don't know what song it is, but she just sings a few sentences, puts it on a TikTok, and people are calling her stunning and brave. I don't get it. I don't get any of this. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book. When I first saw that TikTok, I thought the lady had like a Halloween costume on. I, I, it was, it's sad. It's sad. Anyway, uh, this lady's got a t-shirt. Lady, woman. I don't know. I'm actually assuming and I probably shouldn't be. 
Well, you guys remember the whole Donald Trump controversy where he said, uh, grab him by the you-know-what. This lady's got the shirt. Don't grab my... I'll say the kitty. Um, don't grab my kitty. And, uh, I'm fairly, fairly certain she never has to worry about that. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> Isn't it so funny how it's always the women that don't have to worry about a certain thing that are screaming the loudest about that certain thing? We see it at these abortion rallies where the loudest ones are the ones, well, you know, it's not really going to affect you, that woman. Well, you know, it's not, I don't think anybody's going there, so relax. Anyway, this is it. We're wrapping it up on this one. I cannot take any more today. Now... This is an interesting TikTok. It's uh, stirring up some controversy. So I figured I'd play it, see what you guys think. Now, it's a Christian pastor. He sings a little ditty. He's got a little song on his guitar. He's singing in the church about the LDB, LPD, damn it. LGDP, LGT, LBT, LGBTQ2 plus. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's exactly what I just said. Oof, whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, so. Christian pastor singing about that community, and uh, this is what he has to say. We're done with it after this, so guys, things are getting crazy out there, clearly. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Till next time, love you guys, peace. Roll the film, please. Hey, I'm a Christian, and I'm here to tell you that if you identify as LGBTQ, well, my faith compels me to let you know you are wonderfully made and God loves you so. Yes, I am saying that it's in no way a sin. It's a beautiful reflection of the image of God inside of you, like all people. And that's something that we share, and it's one way we see God's beauty everywhere. Now a note to all the haters who think I am wrong and need to say so in the comments rather than just sing along. Well, do us all a favor and just keep scrolling through Cause if you do comment, I'll just delete it and block you Now again to all my siblings who are LGBT+, Remember you are beautiful and precious and loved by God and us You're all going to hell. Goodbye! <laughs> so I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap.